understand that it's absolutely critical to get your arms around common sense. And what I've noticed in my line of work on the radio shows, television, and all the stuff that we do in front of thousands of people all the time, is that invariably, common sense is something that everybody knows. Everybody knows what common sense is. Usually you will hear yourself or somebody else say, well, you know, that's just common sense. Everybody knows that. And yet what I notice is there's generally a huge gap between what you know, which is common sense, and what you do, which is often what we call in the business insanity. If you go back into your life when you were really happy, think about it. Think about an experience that stuck out in your mind when you were really happy. Raise your hand about the following questions. One, in that memory, were there people in that memory with you? Raise your hand. Okay, next question. In that memory, if there were people with you, did you feel close to those people in some way? Raise your hand. Okay, final question. If you think about that memory when you felt close to those people, were you happy in large part because you were so close to those people? Yes? Okay, so therefore, my experience is the vast majority of what makes people happy is some form of close. By the way, have you ever had anybody in your family or your extended family say something like, if you loved me, then you would do this? Have you ever had that? You ready? I got some great comebacks. If somebody wants to hand you the If You Loved Me program, right? One of the things you may want to do, if you're a smart aleck, some of you, you know who you are, one comeback when somebody says, if you loved me, you would do this. Then the comeback is, you know, I've reviewed it, and I don't love you. (laughs) (laughs) Price of admission is too high. Never mind. Thank you very much for clarifying. Uh, But if, on the other hand, you actually have grace instead of (laughs) smart aleck behavior, one of the ways you can counteract that guilt trip when somebody says, if you loved me, then you would do this, is actually there are two things you can do. One is simply repeat back to the person what they're saying. If they say, if you loved me, you would be here this weekend, one way to counteract that, because it's highly manipulative, is to simply say, let me see if I understand this. You're telling me if I loved you, then I would be here. Is that what you're telling me? Now, if you play it like that, the person will sometimes say, well, no, that's not what I'm saying. And then you say, okay, what are you saying? (laughs) So that's one. The other way to do it is to do what's called divide the guilt from the message. If the person says to you, if you loved me, you would be here this weekend, then you can say, I need to be clear here. Are we talking about how much I love you, or are we talking about the fact you want me to be here this weekend? Which are we talking about? And they'll say, well, uh, uh, well, I, I want you to be here this weekend. I say, what a relief, so we can be clear that I do love you, correct? <laughs> well, yeah, I just want you here this weekend. I understand. Now let's figure out what you're going to do when I'm gone. <laughs> okay. In conclusion, what I would say to you is this. <clears throat> One, it's impossible to be, have perfect balance. Two, it's very possible to be profoundly imbalanced. Three, happiness comes from closeness. Success comes from achievement. And so my recommendation is you've got to do some form of both and figure out some balance that's going to work for you. If you delude yourself into thinking you can be all one and without the other, you're going to be in therapy. It's only a matter of time. And so what I would say to you finally is this. You can move mountains with a single thought So my recommendation is take some initiative on that thought, move the mountains, watch them move, and then you'll notice you're touching people's lives and getting your life touched. It's a great pleasure. Thank you very much. (laughs) 